along with water pollution another kind of pollution is land pollution the decreasing quality of land the release of unwanted elements in the land is polluting it the chemical biological and natural factors man made activities have polluted the soil the fertility of soil is decreasing soil is considered very important for human beings as the food crops that we require are grown in this soil the face of the earth has some part of it under snow some as desert some as mountains and some occupied as sand so the usable land available to us is very less many factors are responsible for polluting land they are the acidic water waste full of salts when they mix in land they become barren radioactive products pollutants make the soil unfit the insecticides chemical fertilizers and herbicides used in fields are also included if lot of garbage gets collected it rots and the soil gets polluted this garbage mixes in the water and pollutes the water so land pollution and water pollution are invariably related human waste droppings of birds and animals mix in the mud if it remains as it is then gases get released from it foul smell is there and the air gets polluted due to land pollution the lives of human beings and animals are badly altered radiations from substances and other pollutants travel from land to crops water and to human beings poisonous substances move from land to collected water or ground water there they spread diseases due to the organisms created there for example dde and ddd get separated from ddt ddt is partially poisonous and so america banned the use of ddt in 1972 even 10 mg of ddt can cause diarrhea indigestion burning of eyes and throat problems and its actual use cause effects on bone marrow kidney intestine and weakens the resistance power this does not get mixed in water and so is a big pollutant if it remains in the soil then it changes to dde and ddd dd affects the eggs of birds and makes their egg cover thin land pollution is due to household waste and disposed of items we must reduce our garbage so that air and land pollution will be lesser it is necessary to classify garbage into wet and dry garbage student friends let us start from our own house divide garbage into wet and dry and give this information to others in your area it is extremely important to control all types of pollution the government of india has made some laws for this purpose among them water pollution and control act of 1974 air pollution control act 1981 and environmental protection act 1986 are included it is vital that we all follow these laws so that pollution can be controlled it is also important that all of us join hands to do this work so let us start controlling pollution from ourselves and make efforts for the same the decreasing quality of land the release of unwanted elements in the land is polluting it the chemical biological and natural factors man made activities have polluted the soil the fertility of soil is decreasing 